Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. Today's video, we'll be talking about Mitsuba, the the unit that will be for part two of the Summon Showcase, and then I'll also be doing Nightmare for um, for the uh, for Dash of Disaster. There you go. I don't know why sometimes I just forget the names of things. But anyway, uh, this should show up by the time Reset happens. Funny enough, I did a video with um, Stu for Fortnite, not Fortnite Gaming, Fort Misery Gaming. I really gotta stop calling it Fortnite Gaming. It's gonna make it, I'm such a bad friend if I can't remember it. Um, you can find the, if you wanna see that video where we kinda go over some stuff of Dragalia in general, I'll leave it here at the bottom. I actually remember to link something this time. Um, you can check that out, but let's actually go into what she does. We were thinking Tuesday and it turned out like, nah, it's Monday. It's kinda Tuesday because like, in, like I think for me two hours later it is Tuesday, but whatever. So Mitsuba, uh, availability period March 2nd, 2.10 p.m. That's for me, of course. It's going to change depending on where you live. Here till March 11th. Really? Huh. Okay. Doesn't feel very long to me. Anyway, she's a support unit. Uh, her skills are Chef Special. Deals water damage to the enemies directly ahead and applies one of the following effects based on the user's current cooking stance. Sashimi stance and flick frostbite. Tempura stance, frostbitten foes take extra damage. Hardy helping applies one of the following effects to the entire team based on the user's current cooking stance. Sashimi stance increased critical rate by 10% for 15 for 15 seconds. Inspiration by two stages. Tempura stance adds 50% to the modifier applied to the critical damage for 15 seconds and increases inspiration for three stages. Critical rate 10% up is her co-op ability. Her regular abilities are Flurry Strength 20%. Uh, when her combo count is 15 or higher, she gets uh, more strength uh, by 20%. Burn Resistance 100%. And Combo Time plus 4 extends the windows of combo. And of course, her two stances, this is what happens when your combo count is 20 or higher. And you're in Sashimi stance. When Mitsuba's combo count is 20 or higher, her normal attacks will change to her that she's attacking enemies as if she were filleting a fish. Her chef's special skill deals damage to the enemies and can inflict frostbite. With her hardy helping skill, she can increase the entire team's critical rate and apply inspiration. Tempura stance. When Mitsuba's combo count is 20 or higher, her normal attack will change so that she attacks directly ahead as if she were making tempura. Her chef special skill deals damage to the enemy and increases damage dealt to the frostbitten enemies with her hardy helping skill. She can increase the entire team's critical damage and apply inspiration. Um, and Mitsuba's normal attacks will change the next time she makes a normal attack with her combo count is 20 or higher. And of course her um, her class is uh, Dagger. So she should be able to get 20 really fast with uh, that specific thing in there. Because Dagger takes no time to get combo count. Now that's kind of her thing as all it seems going forward at least all chefs will have this kind of ability in terms of how good she is That's really hard to know. I really think that she can Probably slot into HBH pretty easily as long as you're keeping things um, Fresh in your head is I guess a good way of saying it the one thing you do have to keep in mind though is that there is a part of the battle where um, You basically can't hurt her at all which is actually, actually if you're Dagger, it's super tough because you have to be deep in there. And currently Gelly actually takes the form of like bait. That's usually what happens with Gelly. So being a Dagger would actually kind of screw things up. So I don't know about Mitsuba. I'm gonna wait till better people have an idea. I think her as a character probably works, probably just not for that fight by the way it's standard. It's different from someone like, let's say People who can kind of slot into it pretty easily because he has a, the ability to kind of um, attack from afar and not get too worked up in what the Gelly is currently doing. But I guess you could, re no, you can't replace Gelly, I think. I don't know. I'm very interested to see how this goes. I really like the way she looks. And of course, this is, this is the only thing on her banner. There's no dragon. Remains to be seen if there will be maybe another four. Who knows? Could be, but we'll see. And that's kind of it. And now we go back to waiting. All right, let's jump in. Let me go do, let me go fight this nightmare. I don't think it'll be take very long. I have up to level 23, so I should be able to beat it no problem. At least I say. Let's see, we'll go with noodle. Let me see settings. I want to turn off, that's off. Go here, confirm. And let me see, who do I want to, I want to control Cerise because the AI with Cerise is actively terrible. So 
And, oh wait, no, we have to go in here. Because I need my real uh, setups, I don't need my my farming setups. There we go here, people has that, give people Leviathan. Mm, go here. Let's go hunting. I think what I should get is actually a healer. Let me see, do I have a healer? I have to have a healer buddy somewhere in here. There's a healer buddy. And I should be able to win pretty easily with this setup right here. But let's check it out. Alright, let's go in. Oh man. I'm also almost done with this grind, by the way. That's just because I had to get the, um... Uh, to, in order to get to level 23, that's just what you gotta do. So I think I'm gonna slow down the grind if I'm able to beat it with the level 23. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by immediately going to the back. Let me see where... Out, go in there. I see. Prepare for the next one. Go. Oh, get them all right there. Prepare for the next one. Right there. Okay, let's see. Prepare for the next one. Kick this mushroom's ass. Thank you. And then go here to avoid all that. Let's see. Do we need healing? I'm gonna do that too. There we go. To avoid taking damage right there. Alright, then I'll go here. Such Again, for the another thing for... Oh, no. Okay, we're doing fine. As far as I can tell. Perfect, final wave. I'm gonna go dragon. And I'm gonna try and freeze. Perfect. Frozen. I don't think I need to heal. I'm gonna heal because, uh... Beepo is kind of low on everything. Alright, we'll go here. Okay. Then this... There we go. Now your attack is lower. I don't think I need to heal at all, so... Okay, one, two, three, four, dead. Alright. Boom. Now you should be dead. This is it. That's dead, yeah. That's an instant death right there. That's death right there. Alright, not bad. Uh, let me actually show off my worm print for them. I don't think you get minor... You could debate, because there's a lot of ways you can build characters, but this is the way I built the characters I have currently. Except for our people, I think people have kind of figured out the people uh, strats, and that's what's best with people. Let me see, not bad, not bad, not bad. I think I could definitely auto it with paying attention. I couldn't auto, and actually, who knows, because you need to really control Cerise to get her the best out of her. All right, let me show off the team that I used right here. Let's see, we got Cerise. She's got um, a crazy bow. She's got Lurker in the Woods. This is a limited print, so if you didn't get during Monster Hunter, you can't get it. You can get Dear Diary, which helps with bow critical rate and resilient offense. Just to show what um, Lurker in the Woods does. It's four strike damage, 50%, and Broken Punisher. You can replace this with, I believe, Sister's Day Out, which is four strike damage, but it doesn't have Broken Punisher. If you have, like, it would, but it's not limited, so you know. Let's see, for people, we got the Chocolatiers, so automatically 100% his skill prep. And then we have Odd Sparrows, which is healing double buff and then strength double buff. So, increase the strength by 8% for 15 seconds each time a defense buff is received. So just off the start of the bat, we already have 8% higher. Uh, for Gala Ellie, I'm pretty sure this isn't the best. I know this is the best for her. It's Beach Battle, which is buff time is increased and water skill haste is increased. Um... I think, right? It has to be Beach Battle. Anyway, if it's not Beach Battle, it's the other one from here. It has to be Beach Battle. Anyway, Summer Paladin's skill damage way up by 40%, and Energy Double Bluff, which is, um... Increase energy level by one stage each time a defensive buff is received, which happens a lot. And then from Free Arm, it's Resounding Rendition and Jewels of the Sun, which is just skill haste, HP 7%, strength up. And this is just skill haste, I believe. Skill damage and crit rate. Perfectly good. And then the dragon is, of course, Siren. Uh, two Leviathans, because I have... I have three Leviathans, actually, but two of them are level 100. And then I have Jean the Ark. Uh, Dragul version. Uh, and that's kind of the team I just used to beat it. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have much difficulty with Nightmare stuff anymore. It's really just a lot of the other uh, Dragalia stuff that kind of gives me issue. So... Yeah, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like it. Um, please leave a like. Um, check out that video I did with uh, Stoop. And let me see what else. I'm really bad at like...
promoting myself, which is obvious. And subscribe to me if you want more videos. I do a lot of cool stuff. I'm currently doing a Nuzlocke. I do a lot of Dragalia stuff because I love Dragalia. I occasionally do Dokkan and Legends when I remember. <laughs> and I, of course, also do Bounty Rush when I'm not angry at the PvP. So that's it. That's it for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I also play a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> that's it. Now it's goodbye. See you later.